Do not skip the video. Each and every second is very important. In this video, we will share a very powerful shell script project called FreeDroid. What is FreeDroid? FreeDroid is a very powerful loop shell script which terminates all background processes every 20 seconds without terminating itself while gaming. And yes, I've developed it myself. How does it work? Well, as soon as the FreeDroid script is executed, and just as I've mentioned before, it terminates all background processes every 20 seconds without terminating itself. It means that FreeDroid is capable of cleaning your RAM every 20 seconds, and it also helps your CPU prioritize the game you play as it stays free from other processes. Once you run the script, it won't stop until you disable it with the Disable FreeDroid script. The script is supposed to run infinitely until it is disabled. The longest duration I've tested is 375 cycles, which means more than 2 hours of runtime in a single run. Do you understand the capabilities of FreeDroid? It's really powerful. You can also check how many cycles the script runs as a process with a check FreeDroid script. Each row of numbers represents a cycle. You can count them to count total cycles. Now let's move on to the tutorial. We'll show you everything practically. Download the zip file, extract it to your internal storage and follow my steps. First step is done. Now, if you are new to Prevent, watch the Prevent Activation tutorial in the description and set it up properly. After Prevent is set up properly, follow my steps again. To activate FreeDroid, write sh space sd card slash FreeDroid dot sh. FreeDroid has been activated. Close Prevent from recent apps and start playing your desired game. It will keep running as a loop process. So don't worry and enjoy gaming. And if you want to check if FreeDroid is running or not, let's show you how to do that. Open Prevent in the same way and follow my steps. We will check FreeDroid state now. To check FreeDroid state, write sh space sd card slash check FreeDroid dot sh. It seems that there are four rows of process ID. It means that FreeDroid has already run four cycles. If you keep refreshing the check FreeDroid script, you will see a new row of process ID every 20 seconds. Let's try refreshing a few more times and prove that FreeDroid is still running.
You can see that there are six rows now. It means that FreeDroid has run six cycles. It's proven that FreeDroid works properly. Now let's learn how to disable FreeDroid properly, shall we? To disable FreeDroid, right? SH space SD card slash disable FreeDroid.sh. Now that FreeDroid has been disabled, let's check if it is still running or not. If we see a single row process ID, then FreeDroid has been successfully disabled. To check FreeDroid state, right? SH space SD card slash check FreeDroid.sh. As you can see, there's only a single row process ID. It means FreeDroid has been successfully disabled. Make sure to keep the three FreeDroid scripts in the internal storage for these three commands to work. So make sure these three scripts are located in the internal storage. And always remember to disable FreeDroid after you've finished gaming. Important note, you might experience UI lagging after enabling FreeDroid. But always remember that it is just because all background processes including the processes required for smooth UI transitioning are being terminated every 20 seconds. So it's totally normal for the UI to lag while FreeDroid is active. This is Droid, signing off. Thanks for watching.